I've got a bit of a problem here. I want to build another of these. This one's been running continuously for five years and I'd rather not muck about with it when I'm trying to do different experiments so I want to make another one. But I don't have one of those coils. I don't have one of those circuits. I don't even know if I've got two of those little solar panels. I don't have the capacitor there and I'm not even sure if I've got one of these pieces of tile. So I'll have to make it a completely different way. Oh, here we are. Coming up is a solar powered pendulum by the end of the video. So let's talk about what I do have. On the left is a coil of 30 gauge wire and that's 11 ohms. And on the right is 40 gauge wire and that's 300 ohms. Hopefully what I'll be able to do is put one on the other so that the one triggers the other one and I can use a circuit then that works that way to power an oscillator and send the thing left and right. Now outside here on the back porch I've got some tile pieces that are salvaged from an old table and the hope was to use them for little projects and maybe that one. I'll try that one. Moving along there's a solar panel on this old garden light top so I can take that out of there. And the circuit can be this one that I came up with last year and it's based on Big Clive's clock circuit. So that's the circuit I'll use. I've just found a piece of decent stiff wire, mains sort of gauge, so I'll emulate that post there. That's the very simple circuit done, and now to connect the coils to it. Right, so that's the connections done, at least good enough for testing. Next thing is the pendulum part, and so we've got some thread there, top left. This thing, which is, I think it's an electrical connector or something. Anyway, I'm going to glue a small magnet underneath that, run the thread through, and should be able to test it. Well, after entirely far too much time spent mucking around with coils and things and changing them out, it does actually work now, albeit no good in this ambient light, I'll have to put it into the sun. But uh, yeah, I've got this now glued on here as well, and I'm going to glue and tidy up these wires. So, but it does now work, and what I've ended up doing is 500 turns centre tap and 500 turns of 40 gauge. And that seemed to sort things out, as well as putting three magnets on the end and also fitting a 100 UF capacitor. I forgot that kind of tip about uh, solar powered stuff that a capacitor will generally help things run. So, yeah, it's now running. I'll tidy it up and finish off the video. Okay, well, I've tidied it up a little bit, but uh, it still looks a bit rough. I'll probably spend more time on it after this video. But I think one main thing is in this low light now I'm going to use a flashlight and I'm going to find out whether it auto starts and that's quite an important part of this for when the sun comes out so get the flashlight on it there we go now we should see it start up it'll be slow at first but it should steadily increase in rate and start to move just with this flashlight which by the way these are kind of the batteries need changing but that's not an excuse it will start to pick up oh yeah you can see it has actually auto started which is one function of that circuit and not just for pulse motors but for pendulums and here you can see just with the flashlight you can see how dark it actually is in the room because the amount of uh, light coming off this, this flashlight and there we are it started up so I'm very very pleased there it does work fine and it's picking up even more and more pendulum swing and finally it wouldn't be a solar pendulum if it didn't show it running with the sun so it's now the evening it's getting near to seven o'clock just got it sitting on this floor and you can see it moving nicely very nicely indeed so that's been a relief of a build um, I did manage to find scrap parts I did use that circuit that I thought was just going to be for pulse motor auto starting and in fact it does work fine for a pendulum as well we've just seen it auto start before and there's enough coming in like I say when it's really getting towards sunset for this thing to move along nicely and of course indoors there's no wind or anything that people might think was pushing it yeah it's a nice little system that really from junk yeah, running along happily. Alright, thanks very much for watching.
See you next time.